All right, welcome back to Gill Stadium. It's Queen City Jamboree. Jason King, Jamie Staten, Jonathan Marshall on the sidelines. This is Bedford and Salem. Bedford uh, in the black uniform, Salem in the white. Bedford uh, has the ball. That's quarterback Joe Michael, the senior. He had a great uh, junior season last year. The give here is to Colby Snow. That's a junior running back, and he gets taken down on the outside. Good tackle by number 42 for Salem. That's Damian uh, Gijante. He's also the fullback on the team. We'll stick, keep it here for one more play. Jamie, what do you think? Here we go, Bedford huddled up. Well, if I'm Bedford with all their great athletes, I'm just airing it out on every play. Joe Michael is a three-year starting quarterback, right? Yeah, so. so it's third and long right now, so I would expect to see a pass or <laughs> That's maybe also a good a a play call action. On, we'll see what happens. Also a good call on third and long, right? So they break the huddle. We have uh, Andrew Gudinskis. That's a senior wide receiver wide out to the right. This is going to number two at the bottom of the screen, Jason, or the right of the screen. Henriksen in motion. And here we go. Play action. Michael's going to let it fly. And wide open down the field. Great catch by Colby Snow. And that's a big first down for the Bedford Bulldogs. Right now, we're going to go down to the Bedford sideline. And Jonathan Marshall is going to talk live with head coach uh, Zach Matthews. Uh, yeah, co yeah, so um, wasn't able to get a chance to uh, grab a, a coach, guys. But um, a great play right there just from the wide out, looking like a young uh, Jason uh, King and Jamie Statton. But, uh, so far, so good for both these teams. Looking good. Back to you guys on the set. All right, Jonathan, thanks. Due to COVID rules, we're not uh, into, or, uh, infiltrating the sideline like we normally would go right up to the coach. So we're uh, definitely keeping our social distance. Kyle Schofield uh, here is with us now. He's the apprentice chairman of the New Hampshire Football Association. How are you, Kyle? I'm doing well. How are you so, doing today? I'm, I'm great. So we talked several times during COVID. Huge need for officials in all high school sports for the NHAAA. You're here to specifically talk about football. We have run a few stories. Are the numbers increasing for you guys at all? Or? They are. We really appreciate the help. This year we have between 15 to 18 new guys. Uh, last year we had five with COVID. So no women? No women. We had two sign up who couldn't make the class, unfortunately, this year. Okay. But we'd love to see some women out here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, everybody is welcome, right? So what is the process involved in? We have some, uh, some, some video of the officials doing their work. What is the process like? Yeah, so the process is reach out to us. You can go to our website, nhfoa.net. It should be on, I think you guys are putting it on the screen. We will, yeah. And from there, it has our contact information. You can reach out to me. I've got a nice welcome email, can explain the process. We have a two-year training program. I'm actually here with some new guys tonight, watching some experienced officials and, and going over what we should be doing on the field. And we're, we're there to help you. So you don't throw them into the fire. Two years, that really brings them along slow, which is important in a sport like this. It, it is. It's very important that we give them the support because we want guys to stick around. We want and them women. to be successful. And yeah. women. I keep saying, guys. <laughs> we want people to stick around. Um, and they, you work games in those two years, um, some with an official on the sideline helping you and some with a full crew. But everybody on our organization is invested in helping new officials. And just a great way to give back, right? So many people played high school sports. You're wondering, how can you give back? This is a big need. It is. And the people watching tonight obviously have a passion for high school football. And this is a great way to stay involved. You know, as officials, we hope everybody playing makes the NFL. There's nothing better than sitting down watching a Patriots game and saying, hey, I officiated that guy. Nice. Unfortunately, that's not everybody's future, but this is a great way to stay involved with football. It looks really hard to make those calls on TV. With the training, is it is it easier than it looks? Or? It's probably harder than it looks. TV is oh, easy. Great. You have slow motion. You have instant replay. It's, it's a lot harder when you're on the field, but it's a great time. All right, Kyle. Well, we have that website, uh, so hopefully people will flock there and you'll get some more officials. I appreciate it, Jamie. Thanks Thank for you. joining the show. Good luck this season. Hope you get a lot of dry games. I appreciate no it. Hopefully snow, we see you out there. No snow, no rain, right? <laughs> All right, we're not done just yet. After this break coming up, Jonathan Marshall has a story with last year's Division I runner-up, the Goffstown Grizzlies. We'll be right back after this.